Just respond to whether or not you take issue or there's a reason you would try to prevent a worker in this state from being paid a decent wage and have health care coverage. Absolutely not. Okay, so then explain to me if a part of your response means you don't have a problem with workers making a decent wage, having health care coverage, which thousands of South Carolinians don't, and working in conditions that are safe, if that's not a problem for you, then explain to me why we are moving forward with this anti-worker legislation. Well, first of all, Ms. Cobb-Hunter, I disagree on your categorization that this is anti-worker. I knew you would. And, and secondly, it sounds to me, and, and maybe I'm wrong and I don't want to put words in your mouth, but it sounds to me as though that you believe that no worker who is a member of a labor union can possibly earn the wages and the benefits that you have described. I do not subscribe to that. Oh, no, and I do thank not. you. And Mr. Mr. Sanford, would you believe that I appreciate you not trying to put words into my mouth? Because would you believe that I know very well that there are a number of workers in this state who don't belong to labor unions, who make a wonderful wage. But did you know that for a lot of those workers, it has very little to do with their merit? It has more to do with their connections, who they know or who knows them? Did you know that here in South Carolina, that has a lot of bearing on salary in this state? Were you aware of that? Ms. Comparter, thank you for making the point of the legislation. Sir? Thank you for making that point of the legislation because it does not discriminate against those who are or are not members of a union. 